Hey YouTube, if you've been um, watching any of my latest videos you'll see that I've been putting back together this PC of mine. Well, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to put a hard drive in. Now this is a hard drive that was taken out of my other PC so I can, I'm going to boot this PC direct from the windows which is contained on here. Now, this used to be a little more difficult than it was years ago but now it's so easy with these SATA drives it really is uh, in fact the whole PC is easy nowadays I mean look let's have a look around this PC you've got the motherboard at the bottom there your main board basically it's just screwed into the case then from that you've got your RAM if you saw my previous video about fitting RAM you can see I've got all four chunky sticks in there now. I've got 16 GB RAM ready to go. The power units now, all they do is just you just pull them out and they go back in. You screw them in, and then it's connected. Easy connectors to your motherboard there and there. CPU still a bit tricky to fit. I'm going to change the fan on that because this one's noisy. But I'm not going to bother to change the actual heat sink. Uh, graphics card, I've got a graphics card here, it's a silent one because I don't like too much noise all the time but this graphics card is an Asus, uh, I can't even remember, HD5 five something it's a silent card anyway, but all you do plug it straight into the PCI slot, nice and easy, just like a Nintendo 64 game or a Mega Drive game or any kind of a Neo Geo game not that most young people these days will even remember those things but nevertheless if you do that's exactly how these things are fitted same with the RAM same with the sound card which is a M Audio audio file which I've had for years and years and years but it's a great card so I keep taking it out of here and putting it in the new PC each time because for a card of that quality it's quite tough to get one that isn't USB now because they're all going over USB and I quite like to use up the PCI slot and not rely on USB all the time because I think USB transfer is pretty slow but when USB 3 starts to take off it might be a, bit, a lot better but this is PCI and PCI Express RAM CPU exhaust fan here that just connects through here and I'm going to show you how to fit a fan in the next video uh, and this here is CD drive so and that as well is another connector which is coming out from here so you just that clips into there and you find a SATA connector that is going to do the job see how this uh, SATA connector here it's just coming straight out of the power unit and I'm just gonna if I can reconnect this thing here These things, these things can be a bit stiff and a bit tricky sometimes, but that's just because, there we go, that's just because this is a new, a new power unit so that the SAT connectors on it are a little bit stiff, but that's okay. No, so that's that. So say if say I wanted to actually change this. This is a CD uh, DVD player. It it really does need changing because it's not very good. It's uh, one that skips. It's a cheap one, one that skips all the time, like most of them do, as we know. And I'm going to change it at some point. But say I wanted to change it now. All I do is two screws there. You turn the take the back 
plate off the case, two screws on the other side, pull it out, undo them connectors that I've just shown you how to do, slide your new drive in, screw, put the screws back in, put your connectors back in and you're good to go. That's how easy it is now to build these things. As long as your motherboard's in, everything else basically it just snap slots in and that's going to be exactly the same operation for this hard drive here. Now your motherboard manual will tell you which connector to plug into your hard drive or which part of the motherboard it's got to come from you see. And there it is right there, it's already connected in. And there's my connector right here right well it's exactly the same as that one up there for that only it's coming out from a place to it where it knows it can communicate with the drive from there so it's expecting a drive you see this connector here and then I'm gonna I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the power from this side here and then that's gonna leave me with some power here for another fan you see which I'm going to show you how to do so let me just put this down this camera down and show you how to do the drive there's your drive there you can see there's the where you connect the drive to right there I keep changing these connectors every so often to make better connectors apparently, faster connectors and so on and so forth. If you've got the old type connectors, these ones, the power one, hang on, so you've got one like that, can you see that? You would just use that connector instead. The data one is pretty much the same now. Some of the old PCs have a different data connector, but you're not really going to come across that these days unless you're working with old PCs, and then you probably know what you're doing anyway. Let's say you've got a newish PC like this one. See, straight in, and I'm going to get some power. You see, there it is there. SATA nice and easy for you to work it out no guesswork involved and then there's the SATA in so and pretty much these these power ones they're all pretty much the same you know it doesn't really matter which one you use so you just use the one that people get confused but really you're using the one that fits your connector so say I need an extra fan I can use that one if I want to put another fan I can use this one up here Hang on, let me see. If I want fans I can use that or the other one I'll just find one you know I'll find one that fits and that works because they're all just power that's all it is it's power but The data connector for the hard drive must be the correct one. Though. It must come from the motherboard where the motherboard tells you. Then all I'm going to do is slide that. You're probably going to be a lot more careful than I am. Some people care about PCs. I don't really care that much about my PC as long as it works and it does the job but you probably want to be a lot more careful than I am right I'm going to so slide that in I think I've got it too high here yeah I've gone one shelf up I want to go one shelf down for that Really, I should take the graphics card out, but I'm I'm lazy, you see. So I don't do things like that. I try to force things when I shouldn't, but that doesn't really matter because it works anyway. 
Okay, so there is the thing is there now, right? Uh, I'm gonna find so it's in there now, right? It's sat on the shelf. And I'm going to see there, see where the two screws line up. And uh, see, you see. Now all I have to do is screw those in. My drive's going to sit on there. I'm going to screw the back two in. And that's my hard drive fitted. That's it done, really. Now you're going to probably be a lot more tidy than I am. And you're going to tidy all these cables away, you see. I'm going to use tie wraps and or sellotape or whatever and get these cables all tied out the way so that it's all nice and neat. I don't really bother with things like that, but I'm sure you care about your computer much more than I do. Right, thanks very much YouTube and uh, tune in the next video and we'll see how far we get with this little project of ours. Bye.